Hello viewers, welcome to my Ducks Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures. In this video I'm going to show you Doctor Who Adventures magazine, issue 220 and it's dated the 2nd to the 8th of June 2011 and it's £2.50. Now in this, with this issue you get a cute pencil and a activity time and space book. So let's have a look. So this is your pencil and each of the pictures on the pencil corresponds to each uh, corresponds to each of the pictures in this notebook. So you've got it's Lauren Lady, Smiley, Yellow Dalek, Weeping Angel and Prison Zero, as you shall see. So for the turn track section you've got this Lorian Lady. And then you put all the important things for the week in the time tracker. Then the address book section, the smiler, and the smiler. So it looks like. And then you've got the section where you can do some cool beefing drawings, and create some new monsters and stuff. And the Viking Angel, where you can make lots of um, adventure notes. So, looks like that. And then the Monster Bat is headed by a prisoner's hero. And that's where you can put all the facts about all the new monsters. So, you keep notebook and pencil. So, this is the cover of the magazine, and we've got Room and Rory. Yay! And then we've got the Doctor saying, We're coming for you, Pond, there's E in the side man. And there's Ganga. Yay! So the contents page, and we have Hello, Time Travellers. It's a funny thing, this magazine. Think of the whole of time and space printed on nice paper, folded in half trimmed down to size and then stapled twice. Well, it's nothing like that, but you can pretend it is if that helps. This issue is all about secrets. Who's the eye patch lady? What's happened to Amy? Will I find out who River really is? And who's this joy everyone's going on about? See you back here next time to compare notes. For the Doctor. Do you want to move here? You cool. Yay! And we have a new Item for the Geronimo page is all about sweets. Hello, sweet. Number one is licorice all sorts. Licorice all sorts. We've got with some saying hello, sweetie, and licorice all sorts saying hello back. Yeah, that's quite cute. And we've got um, a question about the nephew that you used from the Dot's Wife episode. And we've got the silence. He's, he's sitting down the street and there's an escalator. Cute. And I've got an article all about the Abhats lady. Who's behind the hatch? It's time to meet Madame Quarian. Just who is that scary lady with the eye patch? Even Frances Barber, who plays it, isn't sure where she'll appear next. They didn't tell me exactly when my little pop ups would come, she tells us. I wasn't in the first episode, and then I suddenly appeared, and I thought, woo, yay. And then a bit about the website which is www.dwamag.com and you get lots of cool downloads with character avatars and wallpaper and the TARDIS trend tracker hot Amy's a gangy what a shocker eye patches cool than bow ties river's back and we find out who she is at last not is nasty ladies hiding in hatches poor Rory married to goo Last new who before the summer. Boo! So. Then we've got this mega moment all about all our fave action from the almost people. What happened? The team is under attack from the gangers and the two doctors work together to come up with a plan. When the building begins to collapse, the gangers and originals join forces, but Jennifer Ganger turns into a huge monster. Any creatures? The Gangas and Jennifer Monster. Mega weird. The Doctor Ganga struggles to cope with all his past regenerations. Mega scare. 
When the factory acid interacts with the stone of the monastery, it creates a nasty choking gas. Mega brave, Rory risks his life to see to try and save Jennifer from the Ganges. Mega shock, Amy is a Gange. What? Where's the real Amy? And you can get fill it in. Did you guess the doctor swap places with the doctor Gange? Yes or no? Then got mega danger. The doctor and Amy are locked in a room that's about to fill with acid. Did you spot? When Amy tries to tell the doctor about the woman in the hatch, the doctor doesn't seem very worried at first. Is it because he knew Amy was a ganger all along? Our monster panel's verdict. Crang. Unexpected ganger development. Malachi. Who's real? I'm not very sure anymore. And Sigma. You'd have sympathy for the gangers. Then we've got an article. A little interview with Alex Kingston about filming on set and what who Riff's song is and all about what she thinks Riff's song likes and stuff and then we've got a lovely poster of Riff's song in her Stormy Cage dress and the fast fact Idris says the only water in the forest is the river could this have, could this have something to do with the river song? Then we have another article another article all about Riff's song and it's like who could she be? And what? It's just it's pretty much a mad article. I put it in the first the first episode and first Doctor Cottle. has got a new friend. So that's a really funny article about River Song. And then we've got Tiny Wife Request all about Idris. Quick, answer these questions about the Doctor's wife before Idris bites you. So lots of questions about Idris and the Doctor's Wife episode. And then, um, sort of spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet, I guess. But we have seen the episode now in the UK. But it's all about A Good Man Goes to War, episode 7. Secrets revealed. The Doctor raises an army to find Amy. Watch out, eye patch woman. Whoa, Amy's a ganger. Last week we saw her ganger turn into a puddle of flesh, but the real Amy Pond is being held prisoner and she's having a baby. The doctor needs an army by his side to rescue Amy. As he calls in all his debts across the universe, his enemies use his closest friends to trap him. This week will mark the Battle of Demons Run. Both sides will make their sacrifices and River Song has something very important to tell the doctor. So that's all about the, that particular episode and then you can rate it and put your scores on. Then the competitions and this is you are you can win Kung Fu Panda Toys and a Lego City Space Set. And then the R comic we have Cat and Alfie from EastEnders and a master turns up eating all their profits and the Apex Lady as well and a Ood. So that's quite a user. Then we've got all article all about the various TARDIS control room designs that they've had over the series and over the um, classic series as well. So that's very interesting. And you've got you can see the picture of the winning design of the scrap TARDIS designed by Susanna and she, um, all about when she visited the set and met Matt and how what it looks like when it's all built so that's really cool then we have a scary poster of the gangers ah. so really cool poster there and I have this competition cross out did I just say all that cross out all the words that appear twice and help Joy remember what she was saying so you've got to do all cross out all these words that appear and then answer then the comment strip is Road Rage. And you have your subscription page. And the doctor stopped to ask you questions about Centaurans, TARDIS, and a question from a Cyberman, supposedly. And top five gadgets. My Sonic Screwdriver, great for most things except wood. 
the brilliant tiny wine detector. I built this scanner, it's very cool, the Lanstein scanner. This one didn't work out as well as I hoped, the, the Sonic toothbrush. I got this visual thingy for my smelly old aunt, and that's the gadget he uses to find the crevice in a Vincent and the Doctor episode. Then got off played, got lots of cool artwork and cake, very cool cake, and scary silent and collections and stuff. Then I have a lovely handsome poster of the Doctor. Then I have a puzzle page. Boy puzzles, I'm sharp, that's really cool. An educational page all about Mars and all the facts about Mars and about the alien species that the doctors met on Mars. Then you have a questionnaire telling you have to <coughs> tell the team the Doctor Adventures team what you think of the magazine or what you want to see in the magazine. So that's very important to fill in and then can see some of your favourite cool things in the magazine. And then the, <coughs> the free gift in the next issue is a sonic water squirter. So that looks like fun for the summer holidays. Then I've got to speak with um, Arthur Darville and he says well, that's Rory the Roman to you. And all about the series six monsters and about the silent. And see so that's an the next issue. So this, that's all about. That's what you get in this issue. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Yay! Yay! Thank you.